Praise God, praise God, saints of God. Right quick, real quick, I want to tell you I love you. This is the day that the Lord has made. Life is made for us to celebrate and to live and to love and to know him, to know God. So after saying all that, happy Saturday to you. Hallelujah. Good morning. Now, quickly. How do you go into the secret place? Well, where have you been? The question that I want to ask you is, where have you been? Where have you been? Where have you journeyed to? Where have you been getting extracted to, taken to? Where have you been getting hustled off to? Uh, where have you been getting apprehended? And, and, and you know, how how... If you're kidnapped, you know, you've been apprehended, you know, by a group of people. Where in your mind have your, has your mind been taken off to? Because it's not difficult to go into the secret place. We oversimplify things. We complicate things and make things too hard. This is the spirit. This is, this is the spirit. This is the spirit. What do I mean? The truths, the truths that are in this Bible are the spirit. And what do I mean by that? When the truths that are in this Bible, when you begin to meditate on the truths that are in this Bible, a part of you that is not just your soul, it's your spirit, opens up. And that's when you go into the spirit. That's when you go into the spirit, when you get the truths that are in this Bible and the part of you that is your recreated spirit begin to meditate on those truths. You enter into the spirit. Now, take two truths, for, for example. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whomsoever believeth in him shall not perish, but shall have everlasting life. You take that truth, meditate on it, you enter into the spirit. One more truth. Psalms 19, verses 1 and 2. For creation declareth the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. So, the firmament means every tangible thing that can be seen, touched, tasted, or smelled. Every tangible thing is the firmament. The heavens, the ground, the, 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 the sky, the trees, the birds, the animals, you, the buildings, rocks, mountains, are the firmament. Showeth his handiwork. Okay. I'm not going to sit here and tell you the implications of John 3.16. I'm not going to tell you the implications of Psalms 19 verses 1 and 2. Because if I tell you, and you don't take and meditate on those two scriptures, then you won't go into the secret place. You won't go into the spirit. It's all about you, where you are going. Let the spirit take you somewhere. And don't depend on going to the church for the pastor to take you on a spiritual journey. You have a spirit. You have a created spirit. And it's not, life is not all about stuff and what you can see with your natural eyes and what you can hear with your natural ears and what you can taste with your natural mouth, what you can touch with your natural hands. Life is not about what you can smell with your natural sense of smell. That's why the word of God says in Romans, the 14th chapter and the 17th verse, this is why Apostle Paul said, the kingdom of God is not meat nor drink, but righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Because he's saying that the kingdom of God is not about what you can feel. It's about what you can learn and what you can see when you go into the secret place and unfortunately many of us have never been there many 
of us have never been into the secret place because we cannot get past ourselves. If you can get past your natural senses and you can get into a truth and begin to meditate on that truth, you can finally break in to the secret place. You can finally break into that place that Apostle Paul spoke about in the book of Ephesians, the first chapter, when he said, far above all principalities and all dominions and all mights, far above all principalities and dominions and mights, that place is the secret place. Saints of God, sometimes it might seem like I'm rambling, but it's easy to, to ramble sometimes when you spend so much time in the presence of God and you get so many different revelations. Construing those revelations together to form a cohesive thought and a cohesive pattern of thought that you can follow, sometimes it's difficult because I spend that much time in the presence of God. But I hope what I just said I hope you can grab a hold to it. Where have you been? And I'm trying to show you how to go into the secret place yourself. Yourself. You got to shut other things out. You got to shut things out to go into that place for you. So God can talk to you. There's a place on the inside of you that was made for God and putting stuff there and everything there, you will never get fulfillment until you put God in a place that he was made to be. I love you. Where have you been? Where have you been? <laughs>